What's poppin' everyone? We are here today with uh, Team Not Scald back again, and uh, we are here for week five of the MBL. And I'm here with my boy Joey, of course. Go ahead and say hello. Hello, everybody. This week we are taking on Cyberbaz, two very solid VGZ players. We've taken them on multiple times in the past. And uh, yeah, they're season one, uh, season one runner ups. Uh, season two, we beat them in playoffs. And now, season three, we're playing them in regular season yet again. Exactly, so, exactly. They, they have a scary team, dude. Psych ter they have like Psychic Terrain Spam plus like Umberta and Mons. I know, dude. They got like Lele and Metagross, Drifblim. You know, they got that Psychic Terrain. Um, you know, and they also have, of course, threats like Volcarona, like Mega Sharpedo, Nidoqueen, which is a great and phenomenal ground type. And they also got like re redirection options with like Volcarona Rage Powder, Fungus as well. Yeah. Um, Mega Glalie is another cool follow me on, uh, I think Raichu learns follow Raichu me. Got, yeah, I guess follow me, fake out, all that kind of stuff. I think mm -hmm. they, they really like Raichu and Volcarona a lot because I think they've used it in what, previous seasons Needle, of the NBL? Nidoqueen too. Yeah, Nidoqueen too, yeah. So they got a little bit of, you know, their their signature uh, Cyber Baz uh, sort of build a little bit. So this should be a lot of fun to play them. Um, and so we decided, so I guess we can talk about the first monitor. I guess like the direction we wanted to go with this team. Um, yeah. if, if you guys don't didn't know, we made a uh, trade. So we, don't, we no longer have uh, Mega Slowbro because it just wasn't um, coming to any matchups. We just didn't see it putting in any work versus um, other people's teams because we had uh, Mew plus uh, Finny, which both kind of do similar stuff to Slowbro um, yeah. Yeah, on its own, I guess. Um, so we decided to trade it for Raikou. It gives us a great speed tier, a great mon overall. And we decided to start with it, you know, start it off, get it just immediately off the bench. Um, if you want, you could talk about, or I, I'll talk about Raikou first, I guess. You sure? Um, I could talk about it. I don't care. Nah, I like Raikou. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a be, I'm gonna be wielding Raikou. So okay, uh, <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. As you can see, we got the uh, the AV on it. So we figured that, you know, because of Assault Vest, uh, we we're, we're gonna be able to take hits a lot better from things like uh, Nido Queen, like Lele, and stuff like that. And if you pair it with like Snarl then we're going to be lowering, of course, special attack. And they have like some pretty good special attackers in Lele, Volcarona, Nidoqueen, so like, and even Raichu, I guess. Having a, a speed tier that's faster than, um, I think, everything on their them. team. Mm -hmm. Everything on their team bar any kind of unburden, unburden. Um, berry mon or whatever under their terrain. I think it's just such a great mon with really great coverage. Um, we opted for Discharge just because Raichu does have Lightning Rod. And like you can redirect single target electric moves, but if you have discharge which hits everybody, um, then you know it, it can't be redirected by lightning rod. And we do have options for like protect, and as you'll soon see, Mega Steelix uh, later on is uh, another great option for that. Shadow Ball just hits things really hard. Extra sensory for that psychic terrain boosted um, uh, hit versus Nidoqueen Queen especially, which is yeah, it can, it can actually KO Nidoqueen Queen after a snarl, depending on rolls. Exactly. Depending yeah. on Queen spread, if it's in terrain, so that's pretty cool. Right, right, and um, yeah, of course that snarl there, inner focus for the fake out potential from from Raichu, and enough speed to outrun, uh, I think that Raichu, which is their fastest mon. Um, Why don't you uh, talk about this this HP and special attack EV spread, MV? I'm I'm curious as. To... <laughs> Absolutely. I didn't, I didn't question it. <sighs> I'm curious as to what it was for. So, if I if I if I remember correctly, when I made this spread here, I um I designed it so that it can two hit KO uh, Nidoqueen Queen with extra sensory outside of the train, mm -hmm. and uh, which is really which is really solid overall. And uh, I just dumped the rest into HP for as much bulk as we can possibly get uh, for yeah. us, and it's also able to live. A uh, Mega Sharpedo's Crunch, which is phenomenal. Yeah, it takes it pretty annually. Uh, another cool thing about it, uh, we talked about Inner Focus versus their Fake Out, which is really nice. Um, uh, one lead we're thinking they might do is Lele plus Drifblim. Uh, so we're actually leaning towards Raikou Talonflame as a lead. I think as a whole versus it, it's the best lead. Yeah. Um, because Raikou doesn't care about obviously being flinched and uh, Talonflame, we can match their Tailwind. So like what we're thinking is if they lead Drifblim plus Lele, uh, we lead Raikou plus this. They'll protect Lele because it doesn't make sense. Uh, we could Flare Blitz into Shadow Ball or Thunderbolt or whatever. And they'd probably Tailwind with Drip them. Mm -hmm. uh, so we'd match their Tailwind uh, since Tailwind's still priority and it doesn't care about Psychic Terrain. Um, like, because it, it's a self priority move. Exactly. Uh, so we'd still be able to go for it and have priority on it. And that means that our Raichu, our Raikou plus Talonflame would KO them. Um, the special tag investment also means that Snarl on a spread move to a max HP Lele. Guaranteed lets it go down to our Talonflame Z move, as you guys uh, will see. 
And uh, since I'm talking about Talonflame, I'll just bring it over to that. But yeah, sure. bringing Fire MZ, Adam, and Talonflame. So cool things about this set. Adam and Altspeed their entire team. It's also one point slower than Raikou. And I talked about that, how uh, this is really cool because it means that we can, we won't be popping a bulky Lele's berry, right? So if it's a fat Lele, like max HP, we snarl first. It does about 9% minimum. Mm -hmm. And Adamant Talonflame's Z move does 91% min. Uh, to max HP Lele. So we're Inferno Overdrive and it KOs that. Uh, originally we were Fly MZ, but Inferno Overdrive just hit their team a lot harder. Uh, KOing Metagross and, you know, obviously not having to care about terrain so we'd be able to go for a move. And it's also better than just going for a raw Flare Blitz. Exactly. And, and it just hits more things in general. Like yeah. Brave Bird has, they like they have some resistances to Brave Bird, like with Raichu, Metagross and stuff. Um, but with Flare Blitz, I think they only really have Mega Sharpedo, which Mega is Sharpedo. not a resistance. Exactly. exactly. It's exactly. not a real resistance. So, um, Brave Bird, Flare Blitz, Protect, and Tailwind. Protect is really cool too because obviously we have Discharge, Raikou next to it. But these two will more than likely be our leads no matter what we've talked about it. And um, yeah, Talonflame is just super nice. Uh, still also going for Fire MZ, we still keep our Gale Wings, so that could be cool. Uh, another thing we can obviously do is we're putting Talonflame on the opposite side of Feeny. Uh, so if we ever want to change their terrain, if we have it, we can just swap out and uh, go for Brave Bird getting rid of the terrain as well uh talonflame also takes hits at when raikou goes for minus one snarls on things like it it'll eat a thunderbolt from needle queen at minus one it'll eat a psy shock from lele and terrain it won't eat, eat, eat a z move from lele lele will blow it back with a z move if it's psychic um or psy shock but right even at minus one but talonflame still really nice and again these two have a speed tier faster than their entire team so it's a good check to volcarona as well and being faster and everything sick exactly yep and um, yeah, speaking of Talonflame, of course, moving on to um, to Tapu Fini. Since they have uh, Psychic Terrain, which does block priority with Gale Wings, we figured that having, of course, Tapu Fini to change up terrain also weaken their side a bit if they're running um, a, psychic a Psychic Terrain spam with like Lele, Metagross and stuff. Fini's just great overall because, um, you know, since we're leading with like Talonflame and stuff, and if they have Psychic Terrain up, and if we opt to want to go for our um, priority Brave Bird at some point, we can always bring in Fini, change the terrain, and um yep. and just go right for that brave bird uh, finney's really cool because it actually um it actually is uh designed to just be able to it, it can take a hit from sludge bomb a life orb modest sludge bomb from nido queen which is really nice activate the berry in the process and um i think just a calm mindset's fine overall muddy water just hits everything um pretty well doesn't care about rage powder exactly stuff. yeah it doesn't really care about rage powder or anything and um you know it, it hitting like Hitting stuff like Volcarona, especially when there's uh, like maybe redirect or something, um, is always nice. And also hitting the other side at the same time. Uh, Moonblast, just mainly for like Mega Sharpedo and uh, I guess things like that along those lines. Um, I mean, single target also hits harder Lele. Yeah. Spread move, so that's pretty important. Exactly. Yeah. No nothing too special about, I guess, the moveset in particular, but. I'm hoping Feeny does something because every single time I bring this thing, it just dies. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I and mean, I think we, the, the terrain is like, I, I think just, no, just changing yeah, the terrain, yeah, terrain is, is itself. It's worth, it's yeah. worth it just based on that. And also, you know, being a fighting resist, so Hitmonlee doesn't care. Glalie has to freeze dry, which won't be much when we calm mind up. Yeah, exactly. And, 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 and we have like one of those 50% berries, which can be really useful in terms of healing up uh, Finny and maybe like trying to, um, trying to keep this thing alive more so that we can, if, if we're trying to have like a terrain war or something, I think then, uh, you know, the longevity of Finny will be nice. In that Correct. regard. I agree. I agree. I just want to make note that uh so far every mon we've brought besides Finny has done something. Yeah. Uh Eridos and Serena both did their jobs. Eridos got three kills, three <laughs> passive kills with T spikes. And Serena at least got the damage off we needed on Septile. Had it not been paralyzed, could have been a little bit different too. Yeah, I know. Um so I really like Feeny in this matchup and I hope it does something because when, I, when we draft the mom, we wanted to do. We really like our draft, by the way, guys. We love our draft. Yeah. I, I don't care what anybody's said so far. We we absolutely love our draft, and we're going to this one undefeated. We're gonna keep trying to do our best to be undefeated, and um, yeah, that's like the the goal. But Mew is the next member, and Mew matches up really well versus them. Uh, first off, uh, this is a set that Emmy made really nice. Three nineteen speed uh, allows us to outspeed uh, the Sharpedo prior to Mega evolving. Mm -hmm. um it's also really nice versus like a, a lele as well as maybe like a modest full corona basically if they want to go like slower ways we are good it outspeeds everything on their team besides plus boost uh, speed natures volk glalie and raichu 
um, and of course, uh, Mega Sharpedo. Um, bulk up is really cool too because we guarantee take a hit from uh, Sharpedo. Yeah. I think uh, Crunch does 41 to 49 after a bulk up, which is ridiculous. As you see, we're Jolly, uh, 216 speed, 252 defense, and 40 attack. This is a really similar spread to the one we brought uh, versus Lee. Um, if I'm not mistaken, it's a really similar spread because we just want to make it the bulkiest as possible. Yeah. Uh, so with the Missy Seed on their Missy Terrain, we get the plus one, which means we can eat a hit from a Bug Buzz from Volcarona. It also means we take on Needle Queen and Lele better. With that, Drain Punch is nice for just Sharpedo specifically. Um, it also hits Lele hard too, but mainly Sharpedo, we didn't want to be walled by it. Uh, at plus one, uh, we do about 80 something to 90. So if Sharpedo took any chip damage, which it might from Snarl at a point or anything like that. Um, and if, that, if it hasn't Mega Evolved, it dies. But if it did Mega Evolve, obviously that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Um, Zen Hut, but good for Volcarona. It's powered by their own terrain as well. Nice for Needle Queen, Hemonly, Fungus, whatnot. And then Shadow Claw is there because it gives us a super effective way of touching Metagross, Lele, and Drifblim all in one. Uh, so that's the idea behind Mew there. Um, really nice in both terrains, I think. And uh, it, can, it can definitely put in work. Yeah, and, and just with like one bulk up, we're literally getting plus one defense, plus one attack, plus one spadef, and it's just going to be so difficult to knock out, I think, after that. Yeah, it's, a, it's a fake Geomancy, so <laughs> it's, it's, it's really, really nice. I like how you call me. it a fake Geomancy. Yeah, it's nice, bro. It's really, really nice for me, bro. Um, yeah, that's the idea behind me. Uh, it just matches up super well. This is another fighter. This is so bulky. It, man, we have not regretted this pick. Yeah, Mew's been putting in a lot of work, I think. Yeah. Um, well, I, so I, don't, I don't think it's been putting in as much as Lax and Steelix. Oh, no, for I think, sure. I think I mean, the, even the, Talonflame has been putting in a lot yeah, more work. Yeah, but bro, I think I, just like. I, I love how Talonflame mm -hmm. was judged, too, dude. That's the best part. Yeah, it is. Talonflame the best part. got judged, but it's been. It's, Talonflame, Steelix, and Lax have been obviously. Well, Lax, we expect. Hey, to go be back and team. watch the MBL Season 3 draft stream and go and just like skip to the Talonflame pick and just listen to the listen even, to the conversation even, about Talonflame. Even Lix, even Lix was yeah, like even criticized Steelix. for being picked so early. Well, Lix has come, I think, almost every game, if not every game, and it's been putting in. It, its bulk has been great. Its attack has been great, and we we've been running similar sets because you know it's a pretty one-dimensional mod in terms of what it can use. Yeah, uh, but it's just so but... effective, like you know. It, exactly it, it's just such a great mod in in what it does and it's really bulky too exactly exactly oh i got some ideas for licks now speaking of one dimension i want to change it up Ooh. but you can talk about licks right uh, all right so yeah we got here mega steelix and um you know, i guess the point of this set here is to provide as a good fairy uh, and psychic resistance so it can take a lot of hits from you know i guess from tapu Tap lele psychic moon blast and stuff because we're running a lot of spadef has a naturally good defense so it can naturally take hits well from stuff like Metagross and um, probably even take a hit from Mega Sharpedo. I don't know if they'd run like just a hard hitting water coverage move. I feel like they'd want to run um, Crunch, probably a Psychic Fang or some sort, maybe because they have Psychic Terrain. That might be nice for them. But I think Steelix just hits really hard overall. Heavy Slam, dealing with Lele, dealing with um, anything it hits neutrally, it hits just really hard on their team. Uh, while we also have Stomping Tantrum, which can uh, be great for um, the Metagross specifically, as well as maybe the Raichu, the Nidoqueen, Queen, perhaps. Um, and we opted instead of running the classic Curse Protect curse. that we have been running, yeah, we decided <laughs> to run uh, Rock Slide just because um, having something that can do a lot to Volcarona. And with this EV spread, of course, we can actually Oko um, Volcarona with Rock Slide being a spread move, that is, um, which is also um, phenomenal for us because uh, I think Rock Slide is just great in, in case they also run Redirect then um, we'll have a move that can hit both sides if we uh, need to. And um, other than that, you know, we have Protect, of course, just to um, burn a turn if we have to. Um, you know, if we're running like... Well, I, I mean, we have Self-Destruct, we have Discharge, but like Discharge is not going to be hitting uh, Steelix either way. And I'm sure Self-Destruct is probably not going to do much to um, no. Steelix regardless. So, yeah, I just think like um, the sets overall just hits everything for the team. It's more sort of about the coverage and just the bulk that it has that it can take hits with. Yeah, pairs well with Snarl too because it'll be able to eat hits. Yeah, exactly. Um, like an all-out pummeling from Lele if a minus one doesn't KO. Same thing with Volcarona. Mm -hmm. um, and then obviously Sturdy prior to Mega Evolving is cool for Needle Queen as a Volcarona check, as a, as a check to hit Lonely as well. Like things like that are really cool. Like Sturdy, yeah. both of the abilities have been, well, mainly Sturdy has been great. I guess Sand Force was good versus Liam. I don't know, we didn't really use it, but Lastly, we have lastly. Lastly, <laughs> lastly, we have uh... <laughs> uh, we have Snorlax, and we're bringing self the Shucklax back this week. I think it's really nice because uh, they don't have ways to really oko it. 
outside of Hitmonlee's like a close combat as high jump kick. Um, self destruct can potentially claim two KOs if it's like Lele plus Volcarona. Obviously, with Thick Fat, we also can check Volk as well. Uh, Crunch is nice for Drift Blim as well as Metagross. Rock Slide again, we mentioned Volcarona as well. And if they have like Volk and Fungus next to each other and they go for like redirection, for the yeah. most part, we'll probably just click self destruct. Uh, another cool thing is Z self destruct. KOs max defense fungus, which is ridiculous. Yeah. So we don't have to go for boom. And then also gives us the option of Z stockpile, which can obviously be a full restore. We've used it several times. Just a really, really offensive lax. Um boosted up will take crunch from Trapedo. Uh relatively I, I, I think that's the one that actually does 41 to 49, if I'm not mistaken, at the plus one defense from stockpile. Uh but that's just the idea behind it, especially with Snarl, we can actually boost up a lot. Obviously, self destruct is our best move, and we're more than likely just be clicking that or our Z. But uh, Latch is just there for being thick and being able to take on hits from a lot of their mons. Yeah, essentially, we can just sort of chip things down a little bit with Crunch, Rock Slide, and stuff. Um, we'll either be clicking Z self destruct and then self destruct or Z stockpile just to heal up if we need to, like, and use then our coverage moves a bit more, and then just boom, you know, after that. Yeah, max attack lets us abuse that pretty much. Yeah, exactly. And yeah, we're not. It's not like a classic curse. It's more like just having already like a, a max a maximum amount of attack and just going for attacks one uh, one after another, basically. Um, so that's gonna be the team. Uh, yeah, anything else to say? No, I, I like our team. I'm excited to play the game. And I thought somebody was in my house for a second, <laughs> <laughs> but I think I just have the window open. I'm actually about to check. Envy, if I don't come back. I guess you can't call the cops because you don't know where I live anymore. So, yeah, I'll be, one sec, that. guys. Keep the video rolling. If I die, let it be caught on camera. Turn on monetization. It doesn't make sense to not make <laughs> this man's about to. This man's about to get robbed. He's about to get okay, kidnapped. Outside. You alive? It's like, oh man, something terrible happened. I'm not going to keep doing my job. <laughs> okay. Anyways, yeah, that's going to be good. it from this team building. <laughs> There's a dog outside. We're good. <laughs> Sorry, that might have been considered uh, really selfish of me to say that, but like, I, I never understood. Like, if I'm, but we all gotta work. Yeah. Anyways, thank you everybody for watching. I'm excited for this match too, especially since uh, you know Baz and Cybertron are both. Um, they both did really well. Uh, you know the previous previous uh, two seasons. So yeah. and plus they're not they're not doing bunch. as well here, but I feel like. What's the uh, record, you know? I, I don't know what the record is. I don't know what the record is either. Because we don't have thumbnails to put it on, so. Yeah. Or uh, analysts keeping the score. <laughs> just kidding. Oh, come on. Don't tell me. <laughs> analysts. I'm just kidding. Anyways, thank you everybody for watching. Check out uh, check out our opponents. Check out Joey as well. Battle going up tomorrow, 24 hours from this video. And I had to say that. Goodbye, yeah. everybody. Bye.